there are only three days left in this maths countdown series that I'm currently filming. So make sure you stick around to see what I've been counting down until since 100 days. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be solving for the eigenvalues of this 3x3 three three matrix. And the process that you follow in order to find eigenvalues is pretty standard, and you can apply it to every matrix that you want to find eigenvalues for. Okay, so we need an n by n square matrix, and in order to solve for our eigenvalue, we'll be using this following equation. So the determinant of lambda, which is going to be what we're solving for, which is going to be our eigenvalue, times by the identity matrix. So, so the identity matrix with n rows and n columns, that's what that n means there. So for this one, I would have written I3, for example. And for two by two matrix, it'll be I2. Okay, and then it's minus our matrix. So let's let that matrix A, so minus the matrix A. And then that must equal to zero. And we have to solve for that. And then we have to isolate lambda and solve for lambda. Okay, and I'm sure you may have also come across this, A minus lambda I n equal to zero. Those are very much the same. If you were to solve for lambda in both of those, you'd get the same answer. So that's inconsequential. So now we're going to solve for lambda in this equation. Okay. So the difference is now it's not generalized. It's I3. So it's a three by three identity matrix times by lambda. So what does that look like? Well, lambda into a three by three identity matrix means that we distribute lambda into every single entry in this three by three matrix, which is then going to be lambdas on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else okay and from this matrix we need to subtract our matrix a so in order to do the subtraction we can do it by subtracting each entry in matrix a from each entry in our lambda i3 matrix okay so let's go ahead and do that so we have lambda minus one which will be lambda minus one then here we'll have zero minus zero and then we'll have zero there then here'll be zero minus one it'll be minus one then we have lambda minus three and here we have zero minus two and here we have zero minus one zero minus two and now lambda minus three and we need the determinant of this matrix to be equal to zero okay so how do we go about solving the determinant of that matrix well it's best to go along this first row here because then and I'll, I'll show you why. Let me rather show you why than, than try and explain it. So our determinant will be lambda minus one times y, and we delete that row, that column in that row, and then we multiply it by the determinant of the remaining matrix, which is lambda minus three, negative two, negative two, and lambda minus three. Okay, and then we go for the zero. So it's minus zero times by that remaining matrix. And if we are multiplying zero by a determinant, this whole term will go to zero. So I'm not going to waste my time filling that in since I know this whole term is going to go to zero. So I don't even have to evaluate that determinant there. Okay, then plus zero, delete those two and we have that determinant, which once again, I'm not going to fill in because our zero there is going to take this whole term to zero. Okay, and this must equal to zero because this is this determinant. All right, so then let's solve it. So we have lambda minus one into, so it's lambda minus three, squared those two multiplied by each other minus those two multiplied by each other so minus two times minus two is four so it's minus four and that must be equal to zero okay so let's expand this right hand bracket okay well then we have lambda squared minus six lambda plus nine minus four equals zero okay but nine minus four we know is just plus five now let's see if we can factorize this so we have lambda minus one into lambda minus five lambda minus one and you can check that those do give you that trinomial okay so then we must therefore have that lambda is equal to one or lambda is equal to five and then we have solved for all the eigenvalues of this matrix a i hope you found this video useful and interesting and if you did please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching